Hello guys, it's your girl Jayla. Welcome to Reading Her Crib. Let's go. Uh, come on in. So I'm Miss Swires and I teach biology, human anatomy, and human body systems. Um, welcome to my crib. This is room 338, but let me show you some favorites. Come on. So this year, I uh, tried to be cool like Miss Burnside and do a mutant millet project with the Danforth Plant Science Center. So my biology students are growing these grasses to see what we find different from the wild mother nature grasses through some different mutant varieties. It's kind of like having a little bit of the X-Men in my room, but this is my nursery and these are my babies. Well, really they're my students' babies, so don't mess with super mama bear. We'll, we'll come after you, so. Come on around, let me show you some more. So these lovely peeps hanging out in my crib are my human body system mannequins. And so students spend a lot of time um, building these mannequins throughout the year. Um, so they take a basic skeletal mannequin, they get to add some clay to represent different muscles or maybe some fat tissues that we all should have. Um, and this year a lot of students really put some cool um, features on their mannequins. They gave some hair or some hats or some bows to really kind of personalize and own their mannequins. So I've got my baby grasses in the corner and then I've got my homie peeps here in the window ledge. It's always kind of fun and exciting to watch them throughout the year, for sure. Um, you know, other than that, it's really just the basics. I've got some bulletin boards. I try to highlight what my students are doing. Um, you know, I've got my corner, kind of like my private personal space. Like, you can't go here and see all of that. I mean, you could. It's not like it's really that much. Um, I wish I had a Porsche in my driveway, but maybe when I retire, that'll happen. So, you know. That's just some of my favorite parts. If you have any questions about the classes I teach, feel free to come on by. But other than that, uh, Bob in the corner and I are gonna kick you out. Hi, how are you guys? Welcome to my classroom, come on in. So you want a little tour of the class? Okay, back here, I'm so excited. There's a brand new room for me and I have storage. And we have room to keep our stuff. I have all my supplies. We are good to go with lots and lots of storage. I was able to paint my room so it's bright and cheery. I have curtains hanging so that it gives that real home, home feeling, a comfort feeling. And so therefore, it is really a colorful, inviting area, I think. Come on down this way. Another exciting feature that I have is I finally have some sinks, and so I have sinks in my room. We can wash our dishes, we can clean up from our labs, and then I have student centers, kind of messy right now, um, but they can use the supplies, they can use the cutter, they can have the tape, they have everything to their disposal, so it's very nice and neat. I also have lots of other storage underneath here, so that I have my kitchen supplies for my foods classes, storage underneath here also for the, that also as well as some other in the back then I was able to put a little touch of my favorite things I would like to have some natural and so we have some plants in here and as the seasons change I'm going to bring some more plants in as we go I also have the ceiling tiles that my students have done for competition or for different participation that they've done um, most of them mean something I have a couple so that is bringing back years and years of, of kids and memories and the neat things we did. Yeah, I'm proud of bring our students. Now, do you need to go back to class? Okay, let's go on. Let's go on back to class, okay? Whoa, hello, welcome to my classroom. You guys wanna see my really cool room? <laughs> All right, so there are a lot of cool features I love about my room. I've got Christmas lights up on the ceiling that kind of give it a nice little glow. I've got some homemade curtains on this window and then the window back there. Nice little lamp at my desk. Uh, if you come this way, I've got trophies up here. They're nice and spinny. 
Um, these are from the Husky Awards, and then I've got some more back there. I've got too many that they couldn't all go in one place. Um, and the other cool feature about my room is I have paint. If you look around the bottom, I've got some green and blue paint. And the reason why I have the green and blue is because when we took our EOC test, Proficient and Advanced colors were blue and green. So I wanted to have the blue and green to represent Proficient and Advanced. And I think that's about it. Welcome to my crib of learning. Come on in. All right, so this is my crib. This is where all of the magic happens. These are my students who are definitely working and not staring goggle eyes at the camera. Right? My students are my favorite part of my classroom, but I'll show you some other parts of it. Um, the best recent addition that I have, and I think students' favorite addition, is the couch, I think for students. Um, this is my desk. Um, come over here, I'll show you the very best part about my desk, is that I can hide all this stuff underneath it. Like, I've got moon pies, I have books and candy and backpacks of stuff, um, but I'm not sharing, so let's get away from that. Let's go on away. So one of the other really great things about my classroom is that my teacher colleagues are always giving me new furniture that I can play around with and try out in. For example, I have this really sweet table. You might recognize it from another very famous Rittner crib. Uh, that's Miss Munzik's room. She's loaning this to me because she's redecorating. I really like it. I think it's a great idea. So I'm enjoying that a lot. As for other favorite things in my room, I just like having a place that people feel comfortable. 